and welcome back to Liz Sews in the next video in my Bra 101 series. If you're new to my channel, I'll go ahead and link the Bra 101 playlist up in the cards here and in the description box down below in case you've missed any of the videos. So in the past, we have put together our Maya bra. Now that we have our first bra, we can start diagnosing some fit issues. In today's video, we're going to be discussing fit alterations that we can make to the band. And in a future video, we'll look at fit alterations we can make to cut pieces. Generally, when you're making a bra, you wanna follow a three-step process when it comes to fit. First, you wanna fit the wires to yourself. I have a video on how to do that, and I will link it up in the cards here and in the description box. Once you have the wire that fits you perfectly, you may need to alter the frame to fit that wire. And again, I have a video for this, which is gonna be linked up above and down below. Once you have your wire taken care of, you can look at the band. You wanna fit the band to make sure it it is comfortable and is wearing the way it should. And then once you have the band, you wanna start looking at the cups. If you follow those steps in order, you should be able to get a bra that fits you fairly well. So once you've figured out your wire and how that wire sits in the frame, we can look at the band itself. So when you first make your bra, you wanna make sure that the bra fits on the very loosest hook and eye setting. The reason that we fit the loosest hook and eye setting is because as we wear our bras over time, the elastic will begin to wear out. And as the elastic wears out, the bra itself gets bigger. It starts stretching out. And so we need to be able to have a method of cinching that in by moving up to a different hook and eye enclosure. So when you make the bra for the very first time, it should be on the loosest setting possible. If you find that your bra feels more comfortable if you go to a tighter setting, that just means that your bra band is too long and we need to make an adjustment. Another indication that the bra band might be too long is that it's riding up in the back and forming sort of like a rainbow or an arc. That's a very telltale sign that the band is too big. If your band is too tight, obviously it just feels like it's squeezing you in. It feels uncomfortable. You feel like a stuffed sausage. That means that you need to make your band longer. So how tight or loose you make your band is really a matter of personal preference and what you feel comfortable in. Uh, the rule of thumb is that if you pull the back of the band away from your body, you shouldn't be able to get more than two fingers widths in there. Now I find a band that is that tight is quite uncomfortable for me and it has to do just with my general anatomy. I do not have a lot of squish on my uh, under under band area, it's really just ribs right there. So I find that I like my band a little looser than most people would. And that just is because I have bones right on the right underneath the skin. And so I don't have a lot of stuff that I'm squishing out of the way. So if it's too tight on my ribs, it just doesn't feel good. So really it's a matter of personal preference. So if you don't like how it feels with two fingers width looseness, then by all means make it different. So if everything on the front is looking good, we can either lengthen or shorten the back band. So take up your back band pattern piece. You want to draw a line that runs vertically down the center of it. And this is going to be our slash line. We'll cut that apart and you can spread the pattern piece apart if you need to make your band longer, or you can overlap those cut sections if you need to make your band shorter. This is a good thing to do also if you feel like your cups and everything on the front is working really well and you just wanna make the band a different size. It can be difficult if you need to change to a different cup size and maybe there's lots more fit alterations if you change your cup, blah, 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 blah. So if all you really need to do is change your band, how tight or loose it is, then this is the easiest way to do it. Now, if you've already made a bra and it is too big, there is an easy way to sort of like shorten that down. You can take off your strap and your hook and eye attachment and just cut off some of the material from the very center back of your band. Make sure to cut it off on both sides or else your hook and eye will look off center. So cut the same amount of both sides to get a good idea of how big, much smaller you want your band to be. Once you've done that, you can reapply your strap and your hook and eye without having to redo the whole bra. So when I'm first making a pattern, I always try to cut my band a little bit longer than I think I'll need, maybe two inches bigger, especially if it's a new pattern designer and I'm not familiar with how their bands are gonna fit me. That way I can always trim it down at the end in that center back and I don't have to redo the bra. 
if you make a bra and the band is too small, there's really not much you can do for it other than you know putting an, an extender in the back to tr try to make it work. So I talked briefly about a band being too big that hikes up in the back or does that little arc or rainbow. Now, it could be that the band is too big, but if you think that the band feels the right tightness, then the other thing you can look at is called a downward hike. I personally always use a downward hike and again it has to do with the shape of my torso and that is the proportion between my above bust and my below bust so my torso is slightly v-shaped like this versus vertical like this so when i am making a bra because i have a slightly v-shaped torso i'm going to want to add in that downward hike so in order to add a downward hike, we're going to split our bra up at that side seam. So the seam that's going to connect the front frame to the back band. If you don't have a side seam in your pattern, it's going to be roughly about a third of the way between the cradle and the very center back. So roughly there, that's where you're going to want to slash. And once you slash there or just take your side seam, you want to pivot your bra the back band piece down slightly so that it forms sort of like a frowny face. And that is how we're gonna add the downward hike. So you may need to add more material up at the top of your back band piece or take away some material at the bottom of your back band piece in order to get that slight angle in there. Next, we're gonna look at gaping under the arm. So quite frequently, we will see some gaping either directly under the arm here or over here. If you're seeing gaping up here, most likely it has to do with a cup, and we'll talk about that later. But if you have gaping directly under your arm, sort of by your side seam, that can be taken care of in the band pattern. So this one, again, another really easy alteration. Most of bra alterations are fairly easy to make. They're not something like a full bust adjustment, but it's just knowing when to do them and what problems it fixes. So for gaping under the arm, what we're gonna do is slash and then overlap. If you've already made your bra and you're seeing that you have some gaping under the arm, just give it a pinch and figure out like how big that dart is from how much you're pinching out and that's gonna be how much you're gonna overlap your pattern piece on your next bra. If it's just a very little amount of gaping, so not something that you could really pinch out, then more likely you can take care of that just with your elastics and putting a little bit more tension on your elastics, specifically in this underarm curve here, that might help get rid of some of that excess material if it's really not enough for you to pinch out a dart's worth. And then lastly today, we're going to look at adjustments you can make to your bridge. So there's basically three adjustments that you can make to your bridge, assuming that your wire line fits and all that stuff. You can either make it equally wider or narrower. You can make it wider at the bottom of your bridge, or you can make it narrower at the top of the bridge. So when you put your test bra on, you should look at where the wires are hitting. Are they sitting flat against your sternum or are they pushed out a little? If they're pushed out a little bit, that's probably an issue with the cups being too small. But it could also be that your bridge is too wide and that it's sitting on your breast tissue. So you wanna make sure that the distance in between your bust is where the bridge is sitting. So if in general you need to make your bridge narrower all over because it's sitting on top of your tissue, it's then going to be the same alteration that I make, which is to, I generally make my bridge wider. So we talked about this when we were looking at the pattern for the Maya bra. Once you get a feel for your bras and your own personal anatomy, this is an adjustment that you can make right off the bat before you've even made up the pattern. And I gave you some general distances of what it should be if you're very narrow set, an average or wide set bust. I tend to be a wide set bust. So most of the times I'm going to widen my bridge, but a lot of people have to narrow their bridge if everything is sort of really close or maybe even touching in the center front. So what we're gonna do is take a vertical line down the center of the bridge, and you guessed it, we're either going to overlap it to make it more narrow, or we're gonna spread it apart to make it wider. Once you've overlapped or spread it apart, do make sure that you bridge that gap in between there and smooth out any changes to your curves on the bottom or top of the bridge. Now it may be when you put it on, you find that you don't 
need to change any of the distance at the top of the bridge, like that looks really comfortable, but you find that it's feeling pulled or constricted at the bottom of the bridge here. And in that case, what I would recommend doing, if the bra that you're wearing is just you know a trash bra to learn, I would take a pair of scissors and snip up from the bottom and see if that helps at all. Does spreading just the bottom of the heart make that a little bit more comfortable? Does it make everything sit a little smoother? If that's the case, we need to widen the bottom of the bridge. So just like we did for the overall bridge adjustment, you wanna take a vertical slash down the center of your bridge pattern piece. And instead of just moving them apart like this, we're going to hinge from the top portion of the bridge and just move it apart like this. Now, when you do that adjustment, you will see that your bridge is no longer straight across the top. You're gonna to wanna to fix that. You wanna go from point to point and make a straight line. You always want your bridge to be straight across the front unless that's a specific design detail that you're going for. And then on the bottom, you're just gonna to wanna to add some extra paper behind that so that you can smooth out the curve. Now maybe the bottom of the cup or wire line looks like it's fitting really well, but the top is too wide. In that case, we can just narrow the top of the bridge. So for this alteration, you're going to take your original pattern piece and you're gonna to wanna to draw a line. Let's say we've decided that the bridge needs to be a quarter of an inch narrower just at the top. You wanna to split that in two. So for a quarter of an inch, we're gonna take away an eighth from either side of the bridge. So in this diagram here, I have the purple lines, which will be our new bridge width where we're gonna cut the pattern piece. And we're just gonna take off those other slivers and get rid of them. So now the top of the bridge is narrower, but we have maintained everything around the rest of the frame because that was looking okay and fitting well. The last thing I wanna leave you with today is just to let you know that when we're making bras and fitting them, tiny alterations are better. It can be really tempting to just go haul hog and be like, oh, I'm gonna take a uh, inch out here and a half an inch there. But I would really recommend working in maybe eighths or a quarter inches, no more than that, just because those tiny little changes can make a world of difference in the fit. And remember, when we're working on the frame, everything is doubled. So if you take a half an inch out on this side, you're also taking a half an inch out on this side, which ends up being an inch in total difference. So just remember, when you're making these alterations, start small and see if it works, and then if it doesn't, then go ahead and take a little bit more out. I hope you guys have found this information useful, and I will see you next time on Bra 101, where we start looking at fit alterations for the cups. See you next time. Take care.